what, 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 should, <laughs> what should it be? Now, if I'm running for office, oh, I'm winning. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, pockets. Christian Dior, you're amazing, but blueprint DIY. Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. So a couple weeks ago, I showed you guys my recording room and how I store some of my clothes in it. And I told you about this rack where I keep some of my upcycle projects that I have done and some things that I am thinking about doing. So I finally emptied some bags. <laughs> I'm ashamed, like I'm so ashamed. I know this video is a little bit different than what we would normally do, but you guys know I like to keep it real. I like to be transparent. So I have some bags from thrifting, mostly with my daughter. She's really into thrifting now. And so I found myself just going thrifting with her and I'll pick up a couple of things and I'll just bring them home be, and I get them because I think that they have amazing potential, but now it's a little bit, well, it's well out of control. And I thought because you guys are so creative, so imaginative with giving me different ideas is I thought I would do a viewer's choice video. So I am bringing these pieces to you guys and I'm going to let you guys decide how I should upcycle them or whether I should even upcycle them. So let's do it. All right, so I just put this on like this little one piece thing. I work out in it sometimes, but I put it on so that I can actually put these things on like right here on camera. So I thrifted this for, I think it was $10. I showed, no, it was, yeah, $10.80 at Value Village. It's a corduroy like coverall type thing. It's just Forever 21 but it's too big for me. But I have a really hard time finding pants, like wide leg pants that are long enough. So I thought to myself, self, this might be one of your only opportunities to find something that will fit your length and legs. This is the length of it. Like the length of it is so perfect, like so perfect. But of course it's too big. I wanna know, should I cut this part off and just make them pants? Or should I, I guess it's three options. Should I keep this attached and just adjust it so it remains a coverall? Or should I detach it and do something else with this top part? Like some type of top, some type of like little bra top or something like that. Let me know. Cause I can't decide. I can't decide what to do with this. So but I think it's super cute. And I have my Black Woman on a Mission socks today. I saw the brand on TikTok and had to immediately run and go get myself a pair. I am a sock person every day, all day. This is something else I showed you guys on Instagram and TikTok. I think this is just a wear, like wear as is, but I'm not sure. It's this amazing trench coat. And I'll show you guys, it has this, blue accent on it um should i just wear it wear it as a dress it does have the belt which is rare like trench coats don't always come with the belt but i don't know like should i just wear it i mean it's fierce like it's giving or should i put my own little spin on it and what is that spin? What would outdo this as a trench coat? Like what would outdo this? I don't know. Let me know. I'm excited to read these comments. It's gonna be so much fun. And this is, it was $8. And the brand is Miss Freddy. And this like truly vintage, like this is, yeah, definitely not anything current. Um, but I got it from Value Village as well. All right, so this next one is gonna be pretty quick. It is just a Nike t-shirt. Um, it was $7.57, which is like expensive for a t-shirt for me. But I really like this and I just, I think I'm gonna crop it. Would that be horrendous? I think I'm gonna crop it. But I did wanna show it to you guys because I really, really like this pocket. That's really cool. Um, should I crop it? Should I not crop it? Should I totally do something else with it? Like something else completely. All right. So this is something that I found at the thrift 
outlet. Yes, the thrift outlet. You guys know that I do find really good stuff at the thrift outlet. This was no more than $2. I can't remember what day I was there, but nothing at the outlet is over $2 on $2 day. These are their pants, but they are, I don't even know what to call this, a see-through. So I don't know if they're like beach pants, like what you're supposed to wear at the beach, but everybody knows like these pants right now are being worn just as is. It does have little like starfish and um, seashells on it, but look at the brand. You guys are going to flip. It's Escada. It's Escada. I'm going to try these on and you're going to see why these have to be upcycled. <laughs> They're too short, just like most everything in the free world on me. Um, I know some of you guys are going to say to sell it. I just, the the price that you get for selling stuff is just not, not worth the effort of listing it to me. Um, unless you sell, 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 unless that's what you do. But I, ooh, I'm sweating. Um, I like these. Like, I really like these, but they're just so short. So what should I do with them? Like, I, like, I honestly, I have no idea. So you guys give me some ideas. It doesn't have to necessarily stay pants, although, like, the fit at the top is really cute. But, um, but yeah, let me know what I should do with these. All right, so next up is just a simple skirt. Got this from the outlet as well. And I told you guys um, that I really, really love anything knitted, anything like sweater material, knitted material. It's just, it's coming home with me. Um, but I have no need for a skirt that fits like this or looks like this. I guess I do. I don't know. Um, should I just style it, keep it and style it like this? Or should I shorten it? Should I add something to it? Should I take it in? So it's more fitted. Um, should I turn it into something else completely? I am down for whatever. Like, honestly, I'm down for whatever. I could, I could dye it. I could dye it whatever color because it's white. I could dye it. Ooh. Y'all helping me and I, I can't even hear y'all comments yet. I could dye it. Okay, but the question still remains. Even if I dye it, what color should I dye it? And um, should I keep it as a skirt? What should it be? <laughs> That's how you have to figure out things. Just do, just do different things. What should it be? What, 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 what should, what should it be? <laughs> All right, so next up is a wrap sweater top. And I've always wanted one of these, but they never fit me correctly. Like they never look right on me, um, predominantly because I have such a small chest. But also the length of them, I have a very short torso. And so the length on them is like always really weird. I just never know how these are supposed to go. This one does need to be bleached again. I washed it, but it still has some stains on it. Um, it's actually pretty cute. Oh, that's pretty cute. Wait, wait, wait. This is originally by Fashion Nova. I got it for, I don't know, maybe a couple of dollars. Wait, wait. But still, it's still, I feel like, I feel like this little thing needs to come up some so that let me flip it up and then you can tell what i'm talking about so it's more like that length on me not like down here that's where my uh pretend hips are okay i'm just doing this loosely oh oh Wait a minute now. Something, and this is something else I could die. I could die. I could die. Oh, okay. 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 Maybe. 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 
definitely let me know what you think. If you're loving this video or you like upcycling or you want to get into upcycling, definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. We're in the midst of a couple series. I'm doing a spring upcycle wardrobe series as well as a how to upcycle, a basic how to upcycle series. You don't want to miss either one, so definitely subscribe. All right, back to the video. All right, so next up we have this bright and sunny linen. It has lemons all over it and it's pink and yellow and green and just really bright. It still has the tags on. It was originally $24.97 at some store, who knows? But um, the brand is Abound. And I don't even know, I got this from Family Thrift Center, Family Thrift Outlet somewhere, but it's been a very long time. Um, I, I got it last year. And it's just been sitting in a bag and um, I haven't styled it. I haven't done anything to it. What do you guys think I should do with oh, That is cute. That is cute. Some of this stuff I just really needed to try on. Just ridiculous. That is cute. I was scared of the print. I was afraid. I was afraid of the print. I'm not going to lie. I was afraid of it, but I think this is cute. I really like this print. So do you guys think I should, you know, just tie it when I want to wear it? Should I crop it and make it a little bit shorter? Because that tends to be a good uh, silhouette for me. Or just wear pants that I could tuck it in. I don't know. Um, it's not super long right now. The length is not too bad. Uh, maybe I can make it like one of those tops that has like the really high um, curve, a rolled hem, and it goes up and then it goes back down. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? What would make this even better than it is? Let me know. All right, so next up we have some pants. I definitely know that these are going to need to be upcycle this is i got them because i felt like it would be a good upcycle i can't see myself just wearing these unless y'all come up with some really good ideas then hey i'm down for whatever but i really like that detail on the side that white that pop of white on the side and they're just those you know those what we used to call swishy pants these still have the tags on them too wow these were originally 40 dollars someplace the brand is Narika, Marika. That's what they are. Ooh, they're long. That's good. Yeah, these were, this says $7.57. I can't see myself paying $7.57 for these. Um, maybe I got them from the outlet because at the outlet, they do still have the tags on them from when they came from whatever store they came from. Ooh, pockets. That's cool. What should I do? What should I do? Oh, it has double pockets. Um, I do not know, but I am definitely digging the thing on the side. There's a button here. What does that mean? I don't know what the button is for, but if anybody knows, let me know. I've turned pants like this into a jacket before, a long time ago. It was an amazing jacket. Um, but so I don't want to do that again. So something that's not a jacket. I don't know. All right. So next up is this amazing color. Look at the fat. Look at look look at that that's just that i don't know i don't know what that is but that makes me happy why i don't know like yeah it just makes me happy the look and the feel of i wish i wish it would come out on camera exactly oh yeah y'all seeing it that's it oh all right so i got it for that reason um I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just a top I wear. Maybe it is. Is that good enough? I can do better, right? You guys know I can. I can do better. I can do better than that. So what can I do? My mirror is over there. <laughs> what can I do? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. <gasps> wait a minute it's got a little thing it's got a little thing thing going on in it. <laughs> I 
that's cute. If it was a little bit longer, this would be a really cute dress. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that, oh, that green is everything. It's everything. Yes, green is my favorite color. And this green in particular, like this is, mm, 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 mm. And I got this from the thrift outlet. The brand is, oh, Travelers by Chico's. So it's a Chico's top. Um, but this fabric, what is this fabric? It's probably like rayon acetate, which means very artificial. 95% acetate and 5% spandex. I don't know, but I like that. All right, so next up we have this fabric. Now this stuff is really big. I cannot think for the life of me what it is called right now off the top of my head, but I've been looking for something like this to make it into something. I found this piece, it's green once again, because that's my favorite color. It was $12, I normally don't pay that much, but I found it at Family Thrift Store, the regular store. But because it is this material and it's a lot of it, I thought like, okay, I can't beat that. Um, so I wanna know now, you know, after you guys see what the piece is, how much of it it is, I, there are some stains on it, um, like some oil stains on it, like right here, there's one. Um, so I have to work around that. But yeah, that doesn't, that does not look good on me in any way. But what, and it goes all the way to the floor, actually past the floor. So I have a good length. What should I do with it? Like there's enough here to make pants out of it. Ooh, enough for pants. And then a little top. I, I do like the sleeves. The sleeves are, you know, cute. I like this little crisscross thing. So I just cut it off and readjust the little top here. Cause that's the way it's hitting is not cute. Uh, the way it's crossing is not cute, but just readjust it so that it looks better on me. It's more suited to me. And then like make little pants out of it. What do you guys think? <laughs> that's what happened when I try on clothes, like whether the camera is on or not. Um, so what do you guys think I should do with it? Oh, it feels so good. Certain fabrics are really good for the senses. And this is like one of those like sensory fabrics. Um, yeah, for whatever that's worth. All right, so next up is this bright pink suit. Um, it's coming off brighter on camera than it is. It's not quite as, not quite as bright, but it is bright. Like it's a, it's a pink, pink um, magenta color. Um, it is a two piece. It came with two pieces. Um, it is a little vintage fitting if you thrift then you know exactly what i mean by that um when you compare to like the suits that are this color how the ones that are selling right now let me see this was 9.59 at family thrift center um yeah this is fitting like a vintage uh blazer buttoned it looks much better buttoned it looks really good I don't know how I feel about these buttons, the shape of them, but, um, but yeah, the blazer, this really needs to be cleaned. It is dusty, but, um, I haven't done that yet. So hopefully I don't have a sneezing fit, but I do not need a, a skirt set, a skirt suit set. Like I have no need for that. So my question is, what should I turn this skirt into? I don't think it's enough to make like shorts or anything like that. And so I'm just in a, I'm in a, I have a conundrum. This actually this skirt actually fits. There's nothing flattering about that unless I'm running for office. Now, if I'm running for office, oh, I'm winning, but I'm not running for office. So, um, should, should I just adjust the length of the skirt and get over it? Or what should I do? So I can get behind leaving the blazer as is, I guess. Although if you have some ideas, let me know. Um, but the skirt, no, absolutely not. 
it's gonna either need to be shortened, but then it's just still a skirt. And yeah, skirts are great, but um, it's not giving me the feels. It's not, it's not vibing with me yet. So let me know what you guys think. Um, and that's what I will do. All right, so last up is another. You can't see, oh yes you can, Dior piece. You guys know I thrifted a Dior trench coat uh, for $1.75 a while back. And this once again was no more than $2. I can't remember exactly how much it was. I dry cleaned it at home and left it for too long in the little dry clean bag. So it is wrinkled, it needs to be ironed. Um, other than that, it is in perfect condition. Um, the color is absolutely amazing, but oh, I, whew, I love those uh, shoulder pads. Like, I don't care whether the shoulder pads are in or out. I look good in them. Like, but my question, because I know you guys are going to say, oh my gosh, it's Christian Dior. Don't do anything to it. It's great the way it is. And yes, I love Christian Dior, you know, great designer. Um and everything like that this is a vintage piece but and i'm not selling it so y'all don't even don't even suggest it <laughs> rude but should i turn it into like a dress should i add like add a little something and turn it into a dress should i um what should i do what should i do should I take the sleeves off and tuck this part in so that it's no, nah, that's not gonna work. Give you guys a close up. It has these little iridescent, um, like shell buttons that were very popular at some point in history. I love these shoulder pads, these shoulder pads are everything, like, these are extreme, and I am digging them. I know that not everybody, um, you know, likes shoulder pads, but because of the shape of my body, I I like shoulder pads. And I don't have any hips, so gotta have something. So <laughs> gotta have <laughs> some type of dimension. Um, but yeah, it, it's a. I'm not gonna lie, it, it it it's an amazing blazer. Like it is a great blazer. If I leave it regular, am I going to wear it? Or can I make it into a statement piece and just like bow and then I'll actually wear it more often? Because if I put my own spin on it, my own twist on it, I'm more likely to wear it more often. You know, Christian Dior, you're amazing, but blueprint DIY, though. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I just, you know, I don't know if I'll wear it as much, um, you know, because that other trench coat, like the Christian Dior trench coat, like it's tr Christian Dior and I'm going to keep it just because, but it's a regular trench coat. And yeah, every once in a while I wear a regular trench coat, but I'm far more likely to wear the trench coats that I have done, like my puff sleeve trench coat or other trench coats that I've upcycled into other things. So I don't know if you guys feel me on that, but if you can think of anything, let me know. Remember, we've been wanting to do some some um, seam binding. Maybe I just add some seam binding to it and give it a little, you know, pizzazz. Is it the same? No, it's not the same coat. Okay, I'm gonna say, is it the same color as this? It's not the same color as this. Close, but not the same color. But yeah, let me know what I should do. And that's what I'll do. All right, I cannot wait to read you guys' comments. If you agree with someone else's comment, definitely heart their comment down below. Read some of the suggestions and heart them. Whoever's comment get the most hearts. Those are the ones that I'm going to put to the top to do. So definitely do that. Put all your suggestions. I cannot wait to read them. And we'll see what happens for the rest of this spring and summer. We got to get these things done. Kind of clear my palette. Clear this rack so we can get to more things. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I definitely have other videos for you to watch right here and definitely subscribe if you have not yet and i will see you guys in the next one all right bye